Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you that you don't need risk for reward. This will be a motivational video and I'm going to tell you about something simple in life that many people are mistaken about. Many people think that you need to risk something if you want a reward, but that couldn't be more false. Now let me give you an example. If I'm driving a car and the reward is that I want to get to my workplace safely, okay? Now, if I, that's the reward. Me getting to the workplace safely is the reward. If I drive myself there and I control my vehicle and I'm a safe driver, then there is like virtually no risk. There is very, very little risk. I would argue that there's almost no risk and the reward is there, is 100% getting to my workplace safely. If on the other hand, I got a six-year-old to drive me, the reward would still be there, but there would be a huge risk because the six-year-old, I'm assuming, would not know how to drive properly and would create a very unsafe driving situation for me, for them, for everyone else around me, uh, and every other object around me for that matter. So. With that example in mind, there are things that you can do to get the reward while limiting the risk to almost nothing. So for instance, many people think that if you want to start a business, that you're taking a huge risk. And you know, there is a reward because when you start your own business, it can succeed. You can make a, a lot of money and you can create your own schedule. You can choose to work a lot of hours, but you can work the hours whenever you want, right? So that's the key factor. But let me explain a situation in which you can get the reward of starting a business, a successful business, and you basically have no risk. So let's say you're working at your full-time job and you start your business on nights and weekends. So you spend your nights and weekends working on this business and you start this business and you start to grow this business. You know, your first year you make basically nothing. By year five, you're making, let's say like $80,000 a year and you've matched your full-time income, right? So at that point, the reward is there. You're making $80,000 a year. You're making as much as you're making at your full-time job and you've grown it on nights and weekends, right? So you've still maintained your full-time job and the risk is basically not there because you still had your full-time job the entire time and then you know you have this little side business you can go full-time with it if you want to um, and then you know then you're taking a slight risk but then you can actually limit that risk even more if you continue with your full-time job and you build your business to hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year twice what you make at your full-time job well then if you go full-time with your business and you quit your full-time job then there's basically no risk because you could literally get cut in half in terms of your the amount of money that you're making. Your sales could get cut in half and you're still gonna be making as much as you were full time. And it might take you a couple years to lose that much revenue so you're still making more than your full time job for at least a few years. There's basically no risk. Now the key factor to limiting risk or reducing risk to almost nothing is hard work. What you need to do is you need to work hard. The more work that you put in, the more that you can diversify the less risk that you'll be taking for the same reward. With that driving example, it takes hard work to learn how to drive. Now let's say I, I worked hard and I learned how to turn right and left, but I didn't know how to park. When I was driving, when I'm driving, I would still be taking a little bit of a risk because even though I worked hard, I'm not diverse. I only know how to do a few things. I don't know how to do everything. So instead you need to work hard and diversify. And if you work hard and you have a diverse portfolio of skills or of sales or of clients or of customers, then what you can do is you can limit your risk to almost nothing and you can still get the same reward. AKA, you don't need risk for reward. Many people think that you need to risk something for reward. And the truth is that the only reason you would need to risk something is if you want that reward right now without working really hard for it. If you work really hard for the reward, then you know what, you're taking like very little risk. If you can imagine studying for a test, if you want the reward of getting 100% and you also want to party until the night before the test and only study for one night for three hours, then you, you know, you're, you might get a reward, but you're taking a huge risk. If you were to instead study for two weeks before the test every night up until the test up until the test then you know you're not taking a risk and you're likely to get the same reward of getting that good mark
And that's basically it. I just wanted to explain that, that you don't need to risk anything for a reward. It's, it's almost like a false belief that many people have. If you work hard and you work diversely, then guess what? You're going to be able to get the reward with basically no risk. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.